some lasting pieces of the 1906 quake tucked around San Francisco, but to see what it did to the earth itself, you need to go a little bit farther north to a spot where the ground literally ripped apart. KPX 5's Wilson Walker is on the earthquake trail on this earthquake anniversary. Look at that, Jack. Can you believe that? I think 16 feet. 16 feet. On the anniversary of the 06 quake, Fremont school teacher Mark Pesek and his family decided to see a little history. Here at the Point Reyes National Seashore, you can see exactly where the San Andreas Fault runs right beneath your feet and where two pieces of the earth ripped apart. Right on the line, right on the line between the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate. Not many spots in the Bay Area where you can really get a sense of what this fault accomplished in 1906, but this is one of them, and I think the photograph here really makes that happen. That is Alice Eastwood, a, a woman, a pioneering member of that early survey team, looking at the tear in the earth, and here, all these years later, you can stand in the exact same spot and kind of feel that running away over the hill. Gives you a pretty good idea of what happened here in less than a minute. Yeah, gives you a sense of the amount of disturbance there was in just 40 seconds. The effects here were astounding. The original fences, yes, these are a replica, left such spectacular evidence of the quake that this area actually became a focus of the early scientific investigation. So they didn't really have much to uh, go on, um, but because of the amount of devastation that there was here, the amount of movement, um, they believe that the epicenter was here uh, in a little town around the corner called Olima. Now, of course, we know much more about how this fault is shaping the landscape in far greater ways over tens of millions of years. Right. The San Andreas Fault runs right under the Alima Valley and continues right under the uh, Tamales Bay. So those landforms, the bay and the valley, were created by movement along the San Andreas Fault. So the split fence and the posts marking the path of the fault are really depicting a work in progress. 1906, just one dramatic chapter with more yet to be written. It, exactly. I mean, it's, it's as a Californian, you never know when you're going to have your big moment of, of, uh, of, of terror. You know, it can happen, and you'll never know when it's going to happen. Point Reyes National Seashore, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5. The East Bay also has traces of earthquake activity on the ground. Central Park in Fremont has a walking earthquake trail dedicated to the cracks created by the Hayward Fault. It shows where quakes have really moved parking lots and concrete. Visitors can read about the different types of quakes that can cause the ground to rise or break. And for a comprehensive guide on what to do and what to have prepared for an earthquake, just visit our website at kpix.com.